my experience or my memories of early days of COVID-19 was feeling as though I had a, a heavy man flu, feeling very lethargic and then I started to develop the breathing problems. John was starting to go really downhill and he wasn't aware that he was going downhill at all. And I remember my daughter phoning us on the Thursday night and I said, this is terrible, it's as if I'm watching them die in front of me and there's nothing I can do. And the doctor took one look at me when I went into the assessment centre and said, I'll get your details in a couple of minutes, I'm phoning an ambulance for you right now. I was to hand John a phone on his way out because it would be his only way of communicating with me. I found out about the recovery trial the night that John had got taken into hospital because John had sent me a text about quarter to five at night saying he was going on a ventilator and he said a doctor will be in touch with you. Between half eleven and twenty-five to twelve that night, a lovely doctor called Chris McGovern called me and he told me that uh, John was in intensive care and that he was really, really ill and uh, his lungs were in a bad, bad way and he was on a ventilator but John wasn't breathing at all. It was the machine that was doing all the breathing. Did I think that John would be interested in a recovery trial? This trial was just starting and they were only offering it to people who were seriously, seriously ill. I thought they should go ahead with it. A lovely doctor called Suzanne. She called, there was like, hey, like five drugs and there was a placebo. It was potluck with the press of a key on the computer as of what drug John would get. And he got a drug that was the same age as me. <laughs> he got the dexamethasone and he was very lucky. Another medic called me. John was starting to show signs of trying to initiate breathing. So that was like quite rapid after getting this drug. From there, it just progressed that it got better. The impact that we're aware of from the recovery trial the first year after the thing had kicked off, um, I think at that time they indicated there was about a million lives had been saved. If the trials hadn't happened, then we wouldn't know what works. It was difficult so during all the lockdown because we couldn't see our family and our daughter lives down south. Last year we had our first grandson, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been quite a change and I think his mother's realising the difference between girls and boys. <laughs> <laughs>